Well, when you have a student section like that to motivate you, you better win the game. The Wood Creek Timberwolves out of Roseville hosting the Lincoln Fighting Zebras. It's always a good time whenever these two teams bump heads. We'll pick this up in the first quarter. Wood Creek ball. Austin Catapultus back to pass. Look at the catch by Owen Blevins. My goodness. Give that kid a contract. Great throw by Austin, too. That drive wouldn't lead to anything, though, but one heck of a catch. To the second quarter, Wood Creek in the red zone and just feed the ball to Hakeem Anderson. Oh, he was feasting tonight. Here you see him take it in for the first score of the game. Timberwolves take an early 7-0 lead. Now later in the quarter, Wood Creek in the red zone again and Anderson is saying, feed me. Oh, he had a fighting zebra buffet tonight. Wood Creek took a 14-0 lead into intermission and the Timberwolves would hang on to win this one. They shut out Lincoln 21 to zero. Coach Hutkins' team moves to three and one on the season. All right, well, let's keep this show moving. Tonight in Loomis, we had a nice meeting between Sac Joaquin and Bay Area Juggernauts. The undefeated Del Oro Golden Eagles hosting Menlo Atherton, who has some D1 prospects. Del Oro High School does homecoming different. Check out this halftime light show put on by the band. That's giving me Super Bowl vibes. Both the Golden Eagles and the Bears enter this game with undefeated records. We'll pick this up early on. Menlo Atherton ball, that's Sherrod Smith. He finds the hole. He's not stopping until he reaches the end zone for six. But the Del Oro offense is feared, especially when they can turn broken plays into masterpieces. Look at the composure of quarterback Caden Pinnock scrambling, and he finds Tommy Poe for six in the back of the end zone. That's stuff you see Patrick Mahomes do in Kansas City. Now, how about a defensive highlight? Aaron Dabney unfreed, heck of a football name and heck of a diving interception. That would set up another Sports Center worthy Golden Eagle highlight. That's Kanoa Asia, who catches a pass and he says, I'll see you later. Look at him transform into a freight train, or shall I say, transform into beast mode there, dragging a bear all the way into the end zone. Yeah, that kid definitely drinks milk. Del Oro, being a powerhouse football program, now has a whole new meaning. The Golden Eagles improved to 5-0 on the season with the 42-13 win. Next, we're going to head to Citrus Heights, the undefeated Mesa Verde Mavericks, hosting the Western Sierra Collegiate Academy Wolves at a Rockland. Now, interesting thing about this game, apparently Mesa Verde plays their home games at San Juan High School. I had no idea, so I got to this game a little late. By the time I arrived, the Mavericks were winning 49-0 on the fourth. So here we go. Mavericks in the red zone. Number 40 takes the handoff. He's going to run this one in. Unfortunately, his name is not in Max Prep. So heck of a run, though, by number 40. At this point, Mavericks are up 56 to 0. They were not done. This right here may be the best run I've seen this year. Don't believe me. Just watch. Marcus Roberts takes the handoff. He accidentally fumbles it right there. He picks it up. And look at this run. If the Incredible Hulk played football, this would be the outcome. I mean, he ran that ball like the opposing team owed him some money. The Mavericks, they pick up the 63-0 win, and yeah, they, they win it by a big amount. Mesa Verde stays undefeated on the season.